So in part one of our CSV parsing tutorial, I showed you how to read in a really simple CSV file, um, how to iterate through it, and finally how to you know, do something with the data. But this is a really simple example, and sometimes you run into really complicated files um, that might happen to be comma separated, and you need to figure out how to parse it. Um, so I'm gonna show you a real example that I had to deal with uh, when I was first learning to code as an undergraduate researcher. So this is a thermodynamic output file from a piece of scientific software. Um, and you can see it's several thousand lines long. And as we scroll through all the rows, uh, you might notice that uh, they're separated by these blank lines. And what this actually is, it's a CSV file of CSV files. Uh, so it's just one big CSV file with a bunch of smaller files sort of attached to one another. Uh, and each file is you know, separated uh, by this blank line. And as we continue to scroll, you'll see that sometimes you know, the row lengths aren't even consistent. There are, are, are different, uh, there are different uh, numbers of columns for each individual subsection of this file. So this is you know, really messed up. So I'm gonna to explain to you what we actually wanna get out of this file. So I'm interested in, in this first line here, I wanna get the title, which is this, uh, this star, um, this star name. And then I wanna go all the way down here to this phase masses subsection. And you see we have this alloy solid zero. I want to, you know, at each temperature iteration, I want to sum all of these different values as we go all the way down the temperature gradient until we hit a blank line. And then I want to return the sum. Okay. So this is pretty complicated and we're going to have to write some code to get it done. So I'm back here in this active directory. I have, you know, this melts output.csv file in the working directory and I'm going to go ahead and import our trusty CSV library. So the first things first, we're going to go ahead and read in our file and we're going to open it in read mode and we're going to refer to it as in file. Okay, and whoops. Then we're going to go ahead and get our uh, CSV generator out here and uh, read in our in file. And of course, because I am me, I'm going to go ahead and specify the delimiter. Okay, so the first objective is to get the title or, or, or the, this, this, this little you know, BD dash O and then a bunch of numbers. Uh, this is the, the star that this file is attached to. Okay, so uh, how, how might we get that done? Well, remember we can use the next function to grab the current row of this CSV generator uh, and store it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say title equals next reader. Okay, and that's gonna give us this row and it's going to be the second object that the generator returns. Because remember the CSV reader uh, generator returns the rows as lists. So if I go ahead and print title and I run this code, you'll see that we get back title and then and then the star here. So because it's, you know, it's Python and we start counting from zero, uh, it's going to be index number one that gets us this star name. So if I go ahead and, and print this out one more time using our indexed value, you'll see I get back our star name as a string and it's stored as title. Okay, so that's all well and good. So the next objective is, is this. So again, we have this mess of a file and we wanna get these, these masses, these phase masses all the way down here. So we have to look at this file and figure out, you know, what does a computer see? When, when we're going down through all of these rows, how might we, you know, stop here at this specific subsection uh, and start counting our alloy solid uh, masses here? Okay, so we see that, you know, the row 
before this little mini header column, or mini header row, I should say, it says phase masses. Okay, so what's unique to this file is that um, the first time uh, phase, capital phase is mentioned is in this particular row. So uh, what we might want to do is just go ahead and ignore every row as we iterate through here until we hit a capital phase. And then we know that something's about to happen. Uh, the area of the file that we're interested in has arrived. So uh, here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna say found section equals false. Found section is going to refer to this little section of the CSV file here that we're actually interested in working on. Uh, and we're going to ignore all of the garbage above and below it. So this is just gonna act as a flag. So as we write more code, we can make decisions whether or not this is fall or tr false or true. But because we haven't found it yet, it's going to be false. Um, let's say we're interested in capturing this little mini header row here, right? So as our generator is iterating through all of these rows, it's going to stop here, and then we're going to capture this header row. So let's say that our generator uh, has, you know, reached this this phase masses here. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, header equals none because we haven't actually begun working on our file yet. Um, so we're interested in this particular column, this alloy solid mass. Uh, so we need to know, let's, let's say for example, that in every file that we're interested in, the location of solid alloy or alloy solid zero is, is different. It's not always the last element in this subsection. Let's say we have a bunch of different files. Uh, we're interested in parsing, you know, the, the sum of alloy solid zero across all the files. And it might be located, you know, over here, for example, um, you know, can, can we sort of idiot proof our code so that it doesn't matter uh, what index location header, uh, or I'm sorry, alloy solid zero is, uh, we can just get it. Um, so we can say our header, or I'm sorry, our alloy index equals none. So we can set this and capture it later. Uh, and finally, our alloy sum, because again, we're going to sum this little mini column here all the way until we get to uh, this new line. Uh, where is it? Down here. Um, we're interested in that sum. So we're gonna start out from zero and we're going to start summing from there. All right, so alloy sum equals 0, 0.0. We're just gonna make it a float. So here we go. We're gonna start iterating through our file. And, and if this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to you now, um, let's let's work through the example, uh, and I promise it'll make a little bit more sense when I'm done. So for row in reader, we're going to start iterating through all the rows. Remember, we already hit next once, so the generator is starting from here, from row two. Okay, so I'm going to go back down to our phase. That's the section we're interested in. Great. So for row in reader, if not found section. Okay, so if not found section, or colloquially, if found section is tr is is false. Okay, so if found section is false, um, then uh, we're just going to start ignoring stuff. Um, or or better yet, we're going to start looking for when things become interesting to us. That is when we reach the row where capital P phase is the first element in the return list. Okay, so. Um, if we're gonna check for uh, phase being the first element in the list, um, we are gonna run into an error. And that is, you know, when we hit maybe a blank row, we can't search for a string in a blank row. Python is gonna yell at us, it's gonna give us an error. Um, so we have to sort of, you know, work with Python here. So we're gonna say, if the length of the row is greater than zero, and what we're essentially just saying is, you know, if we're not on a blank line. So if the length of the row is greater than zero, and if row zero equals phase, so if we finally run into the row where, you know, phase, you know, it's here, we, we, we finally reached the interesting section. Okay, so we, now we can start working 
on our data. So let's start by grabbing this little mini header row here. Um, this will be useful in case, again, Alloy Solid Zero is not in this specific index location across you know, multiple different files or many different iterations of maybe the same file. So we'll say the header equals next reader, which is, so this is gonna you know, go ahead and, and get, us this, get us this line as a list right here. And uh, so we wanna actually specify the index location of this you know, alloy solid zero column arbitrarily. So luckily that's pretty easy to do in Python. We'll just say the alloy index, which we you know, set as a variable up here, which means you know, we can access it outside of this loop. The alloy index equals um, the header row that we just grabbed. And we're looking for the index of alloy solid zero. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and flip our found section flag to true because we found the section that we're interested in. Okay, so we're gonna indent out a little bit. So, you know, here we're on the level of if not found section. So what if we have found our section? What if found section is true? We'll say else. And again, because we have to sort of idiot proof our code, uh, if we run into a blank line, we'll say if length of the row is greater than zero, um, we'll go ahead and sum, sum the, the value uh, underneath the alloy solid column. Uh, so we'll go back to our code here. So alloy sum equals float. Um, because it might be read it as a string. So we'll just go ahead and make it so that uh, we automatically get a float um, row. And then we grab the alloy index. So again, we're, we're iterating through the list. We've identified the index position of alloy solid zero. Um, and we're just moving down the lines because we have found the interesting part. Okay, so this is gonna keep happening. We're gonna keep going down. We're going to keep summing to this value. Uh, the alloy, whoops, there's a bug. This alloy uh, solid zero uh, mass value. So we're gonna keep going and eventually we are going to hit, if I get up there, a blank line. And we are not interested in the rest of this file. All we wanted was the sum of this little mini column. Okay, so how, how, how can we go about handling that? Well, remember, we already, we're already in, a, in an if statement here, if the length of the row is greater than zero. So otherwise we're saying, uh, you know, if the row is not empty or if it's not blank. So we can go ahead and, and do it right there. So uh, else, so let's say, you know, else means that we've, we've hit a blank line. We've hit this specific blank line because there's no other blank lines um, once we get to the interesting section until up to here. Uh, else, we're gonna go ahead and break. And remember, we're in a giant for loop here. We're going down all of the rows, but we're done. We got our sum. We want to you know, get out of there, save computational time. Uh, we're done. All right. And then we can finally you know, print our alloy sum. And, and we have our, our, uh, our objective here. So I'm going to go ahead and run this code. And hopefully it doesn't break. And you see here, we get this value, 28.06. Uh, eight, six, whatever. Um, how do we know that this worked? Well, I can go ahead and use Excel here and I can sum this entire uh, mini column uh, if I can find the top. And sure enough, we get 28.068622 uh, and that matches with the value that we produced right here. So that is a much more complicated CSV file uh, that we have managed using the logic of Python and the CSV library, we've managed to accomplish our objective. So in the next part of this CSV parsing tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to cheat. Um, and that is, uh, we're going to use the pandas library to parse, um, again, simpler, uh, simpler CSV files. If you have a complex CSV file, uh, you might find that it's just easier to use the CSV library. Uh, so we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.